Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics Z817. The Z817 is designed specifically for use with the Yaesu FT817 QRP radio and will also work with other QRP radios having transmit power up to 20 watts. This video series will help you get the most out of your Z817 and is a supplement to the information contained in the Z817 owner's manual. We'll begin by taking a look at how to install and use the Z817 if you are using the Z817 with a Yaesu FT817 radio. Installation is quick and easy. The Z817 does not include any batteries, so first you must install four AA batteries. Alkaline cells are recommended for long life and should last about one year. To install the batteries, Turn the Z817 upside down and remove the four screws from the bottom. Flip the Z817 back over. Then remove the lid. Now install the batteries, paying close attention to the polarity markings on the battery holder. Four AA batteries are required. Reinstall the lid, making sure the rubber strip on the inside of the lid is oriented so that it holds the batteries in place. Turn the Z817 over and reinstall the four screws, being careful not to over tighten. Now you're ready to hook up the Z817. First, turn off the FT817. Next, connect a coaxial cable jumper to the antenna jack on the back of the FT817. Connect the other end to the TX jack on the rear panel of the Z817 tuner. Connect your antenna's coax feed line to the antenna jack on the back of the Z817. Finally, connect one end of the supplied radio interface cable to the jack marked ACC on the rear of the FT817. Connect the other end of the cable to the jack marked radio on the rear of the Z817. LDG recommends that you also connect your Z817 to your station ground. You're now ready to get started using your Z817. Tuning with the Z817 is simple. Set the FT817 to the frequency and mode you'd like to use. Then press and hold the tune button on the Z817 until the tuning LED lights up and then release it. The Z817 will command the FT817 to switch to packet mode, change to a suitable power level for tuning, key the radio, and tune. When the tuning cycle is complete, the Z817 switches the FT817 back to the previous mode and power level. That's it! You're ready to transmit. The Z817 uses memory tuning, and the next time you tune on the same frequency, Tuning will be recalled from memory much more quickly.